Hello everyone, I am Zaki Ahmad and in this statistics lesson we will learn about correlation. So let's begin the lesson. First of all, what is correlation? Correlation is a statistical technique that can show whether and how strongly pairs of variables are related. Variables means we can take an example such as x and another variable can be y. So what is the correlation? Relationship between these two variables we can able to find out with this correlation. So correlation is said to be positive or direct when both the values increase together and it is negative when one value decreases as the other increases that is inversely proportional. So what are the methods to determine correlation? First of all one method is called as scatter diagram method and another method is called as Pearson's coefficient of correlation. So we'll first know about scatter diagram method. In this method in x axis one variable is placed and in y axis other variable is placed. So all the points are plotted in this graph and this shows the positive correlation. How? Because if we draw a straight line throughout these points then we will see like this. So this straight line joins all the points and it is example of positive correlation. Next we will see about negative correlation. So negative correlation happens when x and y variables are inversely proportional. So in this graph we can see the graph is going down. If you plot a straight line, then it is going down. The slope is going down. So this shows the example that x and y variable are negatively correlated. Other two examples are important. That is, the one is strong or perfect positive correlation. If the points are very much close to the straight line, then it is called as perfect positive correlation. In this case, here the points are very close to the line. So x and y are very strongly correlated positively. Similarly, there is strongly negative correlation also exists between two variables. Here you can see the straight line that is the slope is negatively strong correlated as the points are very close to the straight lines. So now we have learned strong positive correlation and strong negative correlation. One more thing is that sometimes there is no relation between x and y variable that is no correlation exists. In this case, the graph will look like this. So points are scattered, we are unable to draw any straight line which is connecting all these points together. Now we will see the second method that is Pearson's coefficient of correlation. So this method is also used to determine correlation between two variables. So what is this Pearson's coefficient method? In this method was developed by Carl Pearson that is correlation of coefficient is denoted by a symbol called r and it is always a number between minus 1 to plus 1 where the minus 1 denotes the perfect negative correlation and plus 1 denotes the positive perfect correlation. But the middle point is the 0 that means if the value comes 0 then we will say that there is no correlation between the two value the value doesn't seem linked at all. But how to find this value that's the question. So we can find this value of coefficient of correlation that is r with the help of this formula that is summation of x minus x mean multiplied by y minus y mean divided by root over x minus x mean whole square root over x y minus y mean whole square. So x is one variable and y is the other one. Next we will take an example to know better about this coefficient of correlation that r value. So let us take an example, a study is conducted involving 10 students to investigate the association between statistics and science test. So the question is, is there any relationship between statistics or science? So here are the marks given for the statistics and science paper for all the students. So let us consider X is the statistics mark and Y denotes the science mark. So we will first calculate the mean of science and statistics. X mean is the statistics mean where is summation of all the marks divided by number of students. Y mean is the summation of all the marks divided by number of students. So we get 17.3 and 20 as the respective mean. Next we will make a table like this. In this table we will see that we will make one column of x that is the value of all the marks scored by the statistics paper. Similarly we will find the sum and we will write there. Next we will find x minus x mean and we'll write the sum. Similarly, we'll find the x minus x mean whole square that is 356.1 in this case and all the values we will write it down. So we'll do that for same for y that is our next variable that is science. 
So we will write all the details in this table. So after that what we will do, we will put the formula and get the answer. The formula is this one as we know, x minus x mean, y minus y mean, summation divided by root over of x minus x mean whole square root over of y minus y mean whole square. So we will put all these values to get our answer. So we will see what is the solution of this question. So after putting all these values, we will get that after solving all, we will get that the numerator gives 226 and the denominator is root over 356.1 that is the summation of x minus x mean whole square root over and next is 200 that is not required in this case so we will simply write 252 that is root over 252 summation of y minus y mean whole square and after calculating all this we will get 0 0.75 as the value of r so what we will know from this 0 0.75 value of the r Yes, we can know the correlation between the x and y variable. So that is, it is close to plus 1, the r value. So what does that indicate? It indicates that there is a positive correlation between the statistics and science mark scored by the students. So by this way, we can solve all the questions related to correlations. So that's all for today's lesson. If you have any doubt, please write it in the comment section. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for further updates.